Are you feeling tired all the time and looking for ways to boost your energy while well, you found the right video? I'm going to teach you everything that's scientifically proven that's going to help boost your energy levels. It's going to be fast paced this video and full of energy. So let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with tip number one. Tip number one is all about reducing your natural melatonin. Melatonin is a natural hormone that increases when we don't get enough light exposure. So when it starts to get dark, our melatonin increases and it makes us feel tired and sleepy. So this means that the first thing you need to do at home, your work environment, wherever, is increase light exposure. Open those curtains, open those blinds. If you're sat working at home, make sure you're near a window. Get that light exposure and it's going to help reduce those melatonin levels. So it's going to leave you feeling full of energy without the tiredness of the increased melatonin. Okay, moving on to tip number two. Make sure you are getting enough vitamin D. Look, vitamin D regulates serotonin release. Serotonin release impacts our mood and our energy levels, okay? Less light means less vitamin D, okay? So as an adult, supplementing with a thousand units of vitamin D should be completely fine. Now, please do remember though, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. This means you should take it with food for it to increase its absorption, so it's gonna be more effective. Please, please, please always though, speak to your healthcare professional to make sure it's safe and suitable to take that medication. Now let's go back to the surgery. Moving on to tip number three. Are you having too many carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates, okay? Have you ever had a meal and then afterwards you feel really, really sleepy and you might even take a nap? But well, this could be due to having too many complex carbohydrates. So eating too many complex carbohydrates like bread, like pasta, like rice, basically causes this increase in sugar. So we get this massive spike of sugar followed by a massive spike of insulin, which then drops the sugar levels hard. This drop is basically what's causing this massive drop in energy levels, which makes you feel sleepy and taking a nap usually. So what does this mean? Well, watching your carb intake can be a massive game changer, okay? Think of your plate, you've got your proteins, you've got your salads, you've got your vegetables, all of which consider and count towards your carbohydrates, but basically try and reduce those complex carbohydrates. Bread, potatoes, white rice, white pasta, instead maybe sweet potatoes, you know, brown pasta that's more wholemeal, so things like that that have much less of a sugar spike. And moving on to tip number four, when are you having your coffee or tea? Look, if you're having your coffee or your tea first thing in the morning, perhaps try having it midday. When we first wake up, we have this boost of cortisol. Cortisol is gonna make us feel energetic and it's gonna give us that energy to go on. So by having it midday, when your cortisol reduces, then having your coffee and caffeine can really be a game changer and help boost those energy levels. Okay, so moving on to tip number five. How much caffeine are you having? Are you having too much? Have you ever heard of tolerance? Look, this is when your receptors basically become desensitized. So for caffeine, for example, when you build up tolerance, you're gonna end up needing more and more caffeine to give you that boost of energy. So what we don't want is tolerance. So what do I recommend? I recommend no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. That's about four cups of brewed coffee. Better yet, if you want to reduce your risk of tolerance, I would highly recommend green tea. It has less caffeine in it, but it also has L-theanine, which both help to boost your energy and improve your focus. And you don't get those jittery side effects that you get with caffeine. So moving on to tip number six. Look, you need to make sure that you're not dehydrated. You need to be getting six to eight glasses of water a day. Please remember coffee and tea, all that sort of stuff, that also is included within your daily water intake. But the reason we need to make sure we're not dehydrated is it's gonna flush all the toxins and the bad stuff out of our system via the kidneys, okay? So dehydration could be a massive reason for your low energy level. So definitely give that a go. Now moving on to tip number seven, you need to reduce your stress levels. It has been shown as evidence that too much stress can actually make us feel more tired. So make sure you get on top of the stress. If you want some really handy tips, I do have a few videos on the topic as well on different techniques that you can do so I'm gonna leave a link up here and in the description below, but too much stress can really drain your energy levels. So really think about how stressful is your life and what are you doing to deal with that at the moment. Moving on to tip number eight, do not miss meals. So you need to make sure you're having your three set meals a day and please try and avoid unhealthy snacking. All this is gonna do is if you're avoiding meals, you're gonna end up snacking, having unhealthy meals as well that you haven't prepared. And that's gonna cause that insulin spike again, like we said, and it's gonna cause those sugar levels to drop again, okay? Which is just gonna make you feel tired. So having the three set meals, the healthy meals that we spoke about earlier, is gonna make sure that your energy levels stay consistent. Consistency is key for keeping our energy levels up and going. Okay, so let's move on to tip number nine. It's all about exercise. I'm gonna keep this bit short and sweet. I know when you're feeling tired, you think exercise is gonna make you feel 
more tired, okay? But realistically speaking, the evidence suggests exercising 150 minutes, moderate intensity exercise per week, increase cell endorphins, our feel-good hormones, and they're gonna increase your energy levels. So make sure you incorporate it in. You can do it slowly and slowly build up to it. So now let's move on to tip number 10. Sleep, smoking, and alcohol. Look, if you're an adult and you're not getting eight hours of good quality sleep every night, then this is exactly where you're going wrong and exactly one of the main reasons probably why you're feeling tired all the time, okay? If you want more information on how to get good quality, as in high quality sleep, so you're gonna be feeling super refreshed, I do have videos on it, which I will leave up here and in the description below. The other two things that really affect our sleep quality are alcohol and smoking. Let's talk about that. Now in terms of alcohol, you need to limit your alcohol intake if you do drink to 14 units per week maximum and make sure you have alcohol free days in there as well. Alcohol is gonna make you feel more tired, it's gonna make you feel more dehydrated, and it's gonna affect the sleep cycles, okay? So by reducing it, it should help boost those energy levels. And in terms of smoking, smoking, when you smoke cigarettes, you're gonna get carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide reduces the capability of our red blood cells to carry oxygen. What does this then mean? You're gonna feel more tired. So if you do smoke, you definitely need to quit smoking. I know it's a lot easier said than done, I do have a video on it. It's been really, really helpful to thousands of people all over the world. So if you do want to find out more information, I'll leave a link up here and in the description below. So I really hope that these tips help. Please do remember there are situations when you should seek medical attention for feeling tired. I'm gonna leave a full list in the description below. Please do read it and please do seek medical attention if you feel like you match any of them things. Always remember you're awesome and I will see you next week. So difficult to get this right. So, are you? <laughs> this means you should have it with food, so it increases, increases, can't speak. Look, have you ever heard of over, I can't remember the lines. So, are you feeling tired all the time? Because this is gonna be the video.